this is Bill Cunningham on the street. There was an interesting sight in Paris, as there always. There are many interesting sights. But one thing that caught my eye was tall, high boots as a replacement to leggings, I thought, or trousers, whichever way it is. But they were in a variety of shapes, from Robin Hood to uh, even boots that looked like they were copied from uh, a fisherman's wading boots in leather. They're all in leather. Uh, and then, of course, there's a conventional stretch leather. Uh, I've never heard, I don't know how that works, but anyway, and they are elasticized on top to stay up. And then there are the ones that take enormous patience to lace up. And I saw a lot of those, very feminine, very French in the sense of a very high heel, you know. Uh, and then there were one pair, a woman, and they were boot pants, and they laced up the front. I mean, you talk about patience and getting, <laughs> you're not going to get dressed or undressed in a hurry, <laughs> whichever way it is. But uh, it has all to do with covering of the legs. And I think, uh, as they say, the story has legs, it's going to go somewhere. You know, because you see, and you see it here in New York, although most of them are uh, below the knee, uh, certainly in Paris also. And of course, the other big thing is little ankle boots or bootlets. But it's these over the knee, tall, kind of Robin Hood, they give suede, but always a leather. And, uh, and some of them uh, without have a flat heel, others, of course, have heels or even spike heels in some cases. But it's an interesting trend, and this was the thing that uh, impressed me in Paris, seeing this. So, good uh, price-wise, I don't know what to say. I think it's anywhere. These fisherman boots here that were from Prada are uh, $1,500. Some of the others uh, more form and conform to the leg, uh, they went up. I saw them for twenty five hundred when I went into the stores to check. So whatever it is, you're not going to get off cheap. But you know, you don't have to worry. Someone in in New York or somewhere is going to make them inexpensive. So <laughs> you just got to search out your price point. But I thought that was the interesting story. So good luck if that's your interest that you can find them at the price you want to spend. <laughs>